Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn about number bonds to 500. Now we've already done number bonds to 500. For addition we're now going to work on subtraction. Let's begin with our first example. 500 minus something equals 238. Now basically what this question is saying is what number added to 238 is going to give 500. We could even write this down as 500 equals 238 plus something. So what number added to 238 gives 500 and how are we going to work this out? Well, let's have a look at the number 238. Let's start with the units. Now, the 8 there has to equal 0. We have to somehow get it to equal 0. So, what number can we add? Well, if we add 2, 8 plus 2 is 10. Okay, so that becomes 240. Okay, 8 plus 2 is 10, and the 1 we're going to carry over is added to the 3. So 238 plus 2 is 240. So now we're going to look at the 10s. We've got 240. We've got 4 10s. So what number do we have to add to make this 0? Well, we know from our number bonds, 4 plus 6 makes 10. And don't forget we have to add the 0. So 4 plus 6 is 10. So that now makes 300. 240 plus 60 is 300. So the units and the tens are now both 0. However, the hundreds is 3. We need to get that to 5. So what number do we have to add? Well, that's quite simple. We simply add 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. 300 plus 200 is 500. So we've got to our target of 500. Now what are the three numbers, or should I say what are the numbers we added to get to 500? Well we've got 2 here, 60 over here, and the 200 over here. So therefore we used 262. That is the answer. 262. So 500 minus 262 equals 238. Now I just want to point something out. The workings out over here that you're seeing, it's good practice to do this initially. But after a period of time, you'll be able to do this in your head without any paper. It's simply working through this digit by digit. This case, the first case was the units 8. We've got to make that into 0. Then it was the 4 in tens. We've got to make that equal to 0. Then it was the 3 in hundreds. We've got to make that equal to 5. Okay, so it really is quite simple. Let's work through one more example. Let's go through this one quite quickly. We've got 500 minus something equals 374. So again, what number do we add to 374 to make 500? Okay, let's start with the units. We've got 4. What do we have to add? Well, we simply add 6. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10. So that becomes 0. The 7 becomes 8 because we're carrying 1 and the 3 remains as it is. So we've got 380. How many tens do we have? We've got 8 tens. So therefore we have to add 2 to make this into 0. So what is that now? Well we've got 0, 8 plus 2 is 10, we're going to carry 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. 
So how many hundreds do we have? We've got four. So we now have to add one hundred to make this equal to five hundred. So that's our target of five hundred. Now what are the numbers we added to get to that? Well, we had six plus the twenty plus the hundred. So we just add, add the digits, one, two, six, 126. Now have a practice, and in no time at all, you'll be able to do this in your head. It's not as difficult as it looks. It just requires practice. So that is subtraction of number bonds to 500.